on a stock Genesis Coupe exhaust or just the muffler rather I'm curious to see what's inside the actual muffler because there's definitely a lot of discussion around the fact that it's very restrictive and so I'm curious to see I'm gonna cut this one open and I'm curious to see what in fact lies beneath so stay tuned and I'll get right back to you my first time to ever use an angle grinder so it's taking me a long time just because it's my very first cut but I'll get a sneak peek as to what's inside the problem is that there are some spot welds here that I need to destroy in order to disconnect it so I'm gonna try with the angle grinder some more uh, otherwise if that's not doing it I'll have to get my drill and drill bits uh, stay tuned I know people make it look so easy when they cut but it's actually a lot of work it's taking the wind out of me maybe because I'm first timer y'all don't make fun of me too much now but we're getting there. It's actually, you can see pretty well what's happening here, but uh, let's go ahead and get the whole thing out. Almost looks like someone's head stuck in there. Let's see. This is an outlet here, and that's an outlet there. This is the inlet. Very interesting. So the interesting thing about this is that these mufflers are do some kind of multiple layer of metal. Yeah. So here it is in its glory. I don't understand the science behind it, so I'm not even going to begin to explain what happens when exhaust comes in here. You can be the judge if you consider this restrictive or not. But what I can tell you is that you've got your inlet here, so exhaust comes in. Press the button a little too early. Exhaust comes in to this into this main chamber here and then these two offsets are the exhaust uh, output so one goes to that tailpipe and the other goes straight out to that tailpipe what's interesting is that you've got drilled hole here that sits and goes nowhere really just into this empty chamber and rather than having the same on the other side, you actually have a big pipe that goes through this material and opens up into this side, again into an empty chamber. Some sort of sound science behind it, but stepping out, that is the inside of the exhaust. Is it restrictive? You be the judge. 